Welcome to the Chelsea Fans Channel. I'm still joined by Charlie the Hurricane Skinner from the Mail Online and it's time for my favourite moment of the week. It's where we answer your questions. Uh, so I think we should make a start. Let's do it. I'll go for it. Uh, the first question is from Lloyd Cheney. Lloyd Cheney wants to know who you would make skipper uh, if JT leaves. When JT leaves. Yeah, looking likely. Um, Lloyd, I'm not, I'm not <coughs> sure. I think what a lot of teams do is, is they have like a club captain and an on-the-pitch captain. By saying Ivanovic should be the club captain, I'd, I, I don't think he should be playing every game next season. Um, obviously, Ivanovic has got a one-year deal. He will be a Chelsea player next year. I think Ivanovic should sort of be the club captain. I mean, look, I, I think Terry should be Chelsea captain next season because I want... I, I think John Terry should agree with you. Stay. It should be Terry. But, I mean... There's something terrifying here. Do you know what I was mm -hmm. just doing when you were saying that? I was working out who the op options were. Yeah. The options, according to me, are... Ivanovic, mm. Cahill, Fabregas, Matic, Courtois, Hazard. Right, OK. That, I think I've boiled it down to six. That is not good. None of well, them. Well, no, and, and, and I mean, you say it's six. Cahill's certainly not going to be playing every game next Ivanovic's season. Ivanovic's certainly not going to be Ivanovic playing. Ivanovic certainly six. isn't. Um, so four. You know I, I, Hazard, I, I, Fabregas. Look, look, even if Hazard is at the club, I don't see him as captain material. Certainly not yet. Um, Fabregas. I'd, yeah, out of those, I think Fabregas. Just because, look, I wouldn't be the biggest. It's bad, isn't it? Oh, I, just because of. Do you Fabregas's, remember when we had Czech, yeah, Terry, I know, I know, Drogba, I know. Lampard? You might as we well had a spine Ashley of Cole. captains. You, Ashley Cole. You might as well have had ten on. Makaleli. Yeah. yeah um, Balak. Yeah. <laughs> pretty disheartening really isn't it but you know I think just because of Fabregas' experience you know people forget he was, he was Arsenal captain, he was Arsenal captain yeah. when he was a lot lot younger than he mm. is now I mean Fabregas you know he, he, he looks like he's got a lot better he looks like he's reversing mm. his usual trend of being <laughs> he looks like he's reversing yeah yeah, no, yeah usually yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I mean in most seasons he's actually brilliant in the first half of the year and then yeah. got all no, the rest of he swapped it around this year he yeah. swapped it around this year um, hopefully, anyway, mm. by the looks of things, um, even though I thought he was pretty average against United. Mm. Um, I, I think just what he's won in the game. So I think, you're going I think for Fabregas. Fabregas? To answer just, Lloyd's question, are we going for Fabregas? Just about. Best of a best of a, John Terry. Yeah, yeah <laughs> John exactly. Terry. That's, that's my real answer. That's my real answer. <laughs> um, next question from Aaron Southey on Twitter. Uh, he wants to know what the chances are of Gus hitting Stainby on this season. Would, would you want Gus hitting Stainby on this season? Not really. I think looking further than one season ahead, he isn't mm. the man for the future. No. So, no, I think that we need somebody now who's young and exciting and vibrant mm. and keen yeah. and something's proved and yeah. a bit between the teeth. Complete, completely agree. I mean, Is to, there any hope? To, Is it, can he stay? Yeah, to, I mean, to answer your question, there's, at the minute, there's absolutely no chance that he stays. In fact, you know, he's he's got a bit of a... Oh, I know a lot of people think he's done well. I, 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 th I think he's done a, done a reasonable job. But... You know, he he was employed to keep Chelsea in the Premier League. Obviously, that's obviously that's going to happen. Yeah. You know, but, but you, you laugh, but at the time. No, no, we were at, in a relegation. At, we were a relegation threatened team, no at, doubt. At yeah. the time, you know, that that was that was whether it was a genuine threat. It was it was a threat nonetheless. Yeah. Um, I think if if there was if the situation in world football was slightly different and there were lots of good managers, kind of, on the end of a job or something like that, I think. They'd be happy for Hiddings to have another year, and then put it this way: if Guardiola was said in the, he was coming in a year's time, said he was coming in a year's time, I think they'd be happy to have Hiddings. But look, world football this summer, almost like no other, is, is the land. Certainly, the Premier League, anyway, is is completely going to change. Obviously, you've got Guardiola. We said in part one about Mourinho and Man United. Mm. Um, so look, the one thing that needs to happen at Chelsea is an absolute is a, is a is an overhaul of the playing staff and an overhaul of the of the management. So. I don't think Gus Hiddink staying is a possibility and I don't think it would necessarily be a good thing. Right, that, is, that probably makes sense. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that Hiddink should stay? You know, If Chelsea happened to reach an FA Cup final or a Champions League final and somehow win it, do you think that would justify Hiddink having a full uh, year in charge? Don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, Carefree Blues has said, what are the chances of Andreas Christensen being recalled from loan? Um, being recalled from the loan, we, we, we actually we actually ran a story about this uh, this week. Um, being recalled from the loan, not very good because um, at the minute it doesn't look like there's a there's a callback clause. Right. Um, these things can always be sort of 
Alton, he is on he is on a two year loan, and he's he's obviously he's obviously <coughs> huge six loan. Why on earth are we giving him on such a huge loan? Mm, yeah, just just to give him to give him enough experience. Right. Um. I don't, you know, he's when he does come back to Chelsea, and obviously he's got a contract beyond at Chelsea beyond those two years. He's going to have played in the Bundesliga for for yeah. two years. He's going to play in the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. He has been very very good for Borussia Munch and Gladbach. Um. Both, we need him though, but, don't we? <laughs> I'd. I'd for me, when I look at a deal to sign Matt Miazga, who, we, you know, a, a, another thing that Hiddink has, has said uh, this week is that he's going to take a lot of getting up to speed for the Premier League. He, you're not going to see him playing against Newcastle. Right. Um, so well, that's a so, great so, idea. So, so, if he, so, 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 if he's going to take so much grooming, yeah. if Matt Miazga's going to take time, great idea to get rid of John Terry, like the perfect <laughs> tutor. <laughs> I mean, you're asking me to provide logical explanations for things that aren't logical. <laughs> um, if I was Andreas Christensen, I'd be questioning why, why Chelsea is signing Matt Miazga. If he's Clark Salter. Well, yeah, if, yeah if, I was, if I was Jay Clark Salter, I'd be questioning that as well. But I mean, f- from, a, from a, a fan's point of view and a journalist's point of view, y- you've got a very, very good young player, and although he's not English, he counts as homegrown, playing for a, for a decent German side in the Champions League. Now, Borussia Mönchengladbach, interestingly enough, they've been making approaches to Chelsea to try and buy him permanently. And this is the story we ran this week, that Chelsea... I mean, this sort of bodes well for the disaster. future. No, this bodes well for the future. That Chelsea are actually rejecting those moves. So he, he's not going to be a right. permanent Mönchengladbach player. OK. But, you know, I, at, at the minute, he's, he, he plays for them and, and that will continue for the next season as well. Okay. Um, Oliver Dykes on, on Twitter, um, he wants to know, I think this is a really interesting question actually, do the Chelsea players deserve a Player of the Year award given the results this season? I think they do because I think you'd be doing a disservice to our Player of the Year if you don't have the award. I think mm. William has yeah, covered himself in glory this yeah. year and deserves recognition. Mm. Uh, do the rest of them deserve the parade? Probably not. I think it's weird, isn't it? Because I think I was at Anfield one year and they had a really bad season. We at Anfield, I think we might, it might have been the year with the pass back. That yeah, was their it was last two, year. 2010, it was the year, it was the year Chelsea won And the they double. had a brilliant. lap of honour yeah. when they had no reason to. Yeah, well, no, I mean, I think, I think a lap of honour is traditional, it's just sort of wave the fans off for the summer. Mm. I, I actually don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I think it's quite interesting because obviously usually Chelsea have a big glitzy bash at Stamford Bridge. Mm. It's hosted by a Sky Sports presenters, all the rest yeah, of it. It's yeah. on Chelsea TV, you know, fans buy tickets and they get to go and mingle with the players. And that's been the case for obviously years and years. Yeah. A big glitzy bash at the end of this year, I think. If for, we for win me, the Champions per- League. Yeah, if we win the Champions League, great. But <laughs> for me, that would feel a little naff. Yes. Really, to have a big, big bash. In the- I completely agree with you that obviously, you know, they have- Chelsea have had a third worst season in, this, in their history. We shouldn't never lose. Not with that. players of this quality, though. No, 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 not with players of this quality, but still have a player of the year. And, mm. and, I, th- and, and I think you're completely right. I think. I think it would be a dis- I think it would be a disservice to William, mm. a- as it stands anyway, to um, William, to, <laughs> yeah, to 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 not to not recognise his contributions <clears throat> in some way. Um, whether that's with a big glitzy bash at the end of the year, no, I, I, or just a bouquet uh, of flowers to his home address. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get the old M and S delivery. Yeah, the hamper. Oh. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Don't forget this weekend. Yes, <laughs> yes, Sunday. I mean. It's yeah. drilled, drilled in. <laughs> right. The next question here is from Alex Hawks. Alex, this is an appalling question. Um, would you rather Arsenal or Tottenham win the league? Uh, I'm not answering that. <laughs> I, um, look, neither, neither. Uh, Tottenham been doing very, very well of late. Um, guys, Terrifying. Guys, the next to uh, work at the Mail is a huge, huge Tottenham fan. I've told him this needs to stop. I'm, <laughs> I, yeah. I will never hear the end of it. Tottenham win the league. I don't think any Chelsea fan will. I don't think. Basically, I can't think of anything worse than either of those winning the league. Can't Obviously, think. I'm a journalist, so I've got to stay neutral. But I'm secretly really hoping it's one of the other two. Yeah, I can't. I just cannot countenance a London, an entire city no. in which one of those two reigns supreme. I, can't. I, ha- I have always fancied emigrating, which I definitely have to do if either of those It would be league. worth it. If you were ever considering yeah. leaving London, you know, London's a wonderful city. Yeah. Uh, metropolis, a beautiful one. But, and I, and I, I think we would have to, wouldn't we? I don't think I could live... In a London in which those either one of those can you imagine watching the final day of the season? You know when all the champagne comes out and the hoardings and the fireworks. Yeah, and we've uh, we've clinched thirteenth place. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> Do you know it really is Hobson's choice here? I cannot. I'm trying to answer your question, Alex, mm. 
But every time I think of an argument for one, I think of a counter-argument immediately. I have no answer here. Anything to offer? No, I think... <laughs> Just Viva think, Leicester think, and Manchester City. Yeah, there you think. go. Yeah. Um, will you do us a favour, actually, guys? Comment below. Who do you want Can to Can you win answer Alex's question? I'll read it out to you in its entirety. Would you rather Arsenal or Tottenham win the league if you have to choose? Yeah. So... We're, we're above the law, but you have to choose. Right, answer Alex's question below. <laughs> I cannot answer this, answer. but I'm very interested to hear what you have to say. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching, and comment below. You may uh, have your answer, question answered next week. Go on, you blows. <laughs>